Today we're taking a look at the iPassport mini wireless keyboard with IR Blaster on it. Now this is a updated version of some of the mini keyboards they've had in the past. Comes with a charger, a manual, and the actual device. I played with this for a little while, wanted to let you know what my thoughts were on it. Now, if you want to learn about pricing on this, I'm not going to include this in the video because it changes so often and it'll probably be wrong in a week or two. But I will put a link to it on Amazon if you want to find that with the current pricing at this moment. Be careful, YouTube puts a row of products they think are the right one under the video so they can earn more money. Sometimes it's the right product, sometimes it's not. If you wanna make sure you get this product, check our, our link to Amazon in the YouTube description. All right, now about the keyboard itself. Very nice, very similar to the other um, mid-range, high-range, uh, little mini keyboards like this. Nice rubber buttons on it. Feels good in the hand. It feels like when I'm moving around and typing, I can definitely tell I've switched fingers or keys and how many keys I've moved. Sometimes these are so slick, it's hard, you have to look at it to see it. The D-pad again feels great. Left and right click on the mouse. The little uh, mouse pad here is a little smaller than older models, but works well. Does a good job, especially for a remote like this. But why is the touchpad a little smaller? Because they now include the ability to have these eight keys up here to control your TV. So this will learn from your current remote for your TV, the power, input, volume up and down, channel, and two other optional ones, maybe like a sleep timer button, whatever you want to program them to be. Works incredibly well, highly recommend it. Kind of a simple idea, why hasn't more people done this in the past and offered the ability to have your TV controls on a little mini keyboard like this? Uh, the quality is good, the range is good. When I was testing this in my living room, it easily reached all over the living room. I had no point where I felt like, oh, the signal's kind of weak here, it's struggling a little bit, but I have a pretty standard sized living room. And if you're using that in this kind of environment, it will work great. IR blaster on it, which you can see right here, get that out of the way. Right here at the top, kinda, it will transmit to the TV. So you gotta keep that line of sight to the TV if you want it to work. Now, it also comes with a user mail that is very simple. You see here, focus, all the different keys, instructions on it. Pretty straightforward. It does include the 2.2, the RF section, doesn't give you instructions on how to pair the keyboard um, to all kinds of different, uh, to the um, receiver there. The three position there allows you to program it. It's pretty simple. Let's see if I can get it. It took me less than a minute to pair the keyboard to the device, uh, to my remote, and control the TV. It does include a little USB dongle here in the back. Pretty standard for a remote like this. Sometimes this door is, there we go. It can be a little sticky at times. Gotta kind of push it in there to get it to fit. And then on the back, you will see, again, how to program it. A little set of instructions. So, I was impressed for the price point. This is a very good um, keyboard. Am I gonna wanna write a term paper or a textbook on this? No, but if I'm entering username, search terms, passwords, it's nice to have a keyboard like this. I still have a laptop connected to my TV. Don't use it as much as I used to, but I still get some use out of it for particular um, things like streams that are only available on websites. This is a good option for that. The, uh, it will work with Windows, Linux, Mac, and Android devices. Um, just plug in the USB stick in there, it connects, no problem at all. A little power switch down here at the bottom, and micro USB charging cable, right there's kind of a, kind of hard to get that in focus. A micro USB, similar to most Android phones, the cable itself is really short, no wall charger. If you have a spare Android phone charger, micro USB, you probably wanna use that. Fire tablets still use that, so keep that in mind. Other than that, I really don't have any downside. It does include a backlight, which is nice for dark rooms. Uh, the touchpad was a, maybe a little bit smaller than I wish. I upped the sensitivity on my, my mouse on the TV and it worked really well. I'm not sure if you can do that on Android devices, up the sensitivity of the mouse. But having the, the uh, little touchpad here to control the mouse allows you to use a lot of Android apps on Android TV uh, boxes that, excuse me, Android boxes, not Android TV, they're made for tablets. This allows you to use the mouse in place of a finger on the screen. It works well. It also includes a row of function keys, so volume controls up, down, mute, um, play, pause, back, forth, search, home, email, and so forth that you can program right there. Pretty standard, nice. Again, it just feels good. It's a good quality, especially for the price. Would I recommend this? Yes. If you need a small keyboard like this for a TV on a big screen, 
excellent, good range, good battery life, good price point. If you have a question, let me know. Again, I'll link to it down in the show notes if you want to learn more about it over on Amazon. And I'll do my best answering questions you may have. And if this video helped you, hit your thumbs up. It really does help us. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We'll be back with more reviews coming up soon.